was actually about yay height. I looked really young, all right? But I knew I wanted to do it, but I, and I believed in it, and I worked very, very hard at my game every day trying to improve. So one day when I was 16, I tried out for the Louisiana State ODP team. All right, the year before I made the team, this was the first round of the tryouts for my second year. I was playing really well. I defended hard. I was scoring goals. They announced the team. My name wasn't mentioned. Got it. Started tearing up. Went up to the coach. Coach, how come I didn't make the team? He goes, I think you're too small, and you probably won't be able to play with the big boys. Simple as that. I was like, all right. So, you know, I'll be very honest with you, I cried like a baby all the way home. I was so upset. So upset. But, after a few days, what do you think I did? That's right. I believed in it, and I got back up and started working even harder, okay? Because I wasn't going to let anyone get in the way of my dreams. So, two weeks after that tryout, the head Louisiana State coach calls me up. Says, hey, Jared, I want you to play on the Louisiana State ODP team. And I was like, he goes, do you want to do it? And I was like, yes, coach, I'd love to, but what about that other guy that said I was too small and couldn't play with the big boys? He goes, don't worry about that guy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I think you're one of the best players in the state. All right? I learned a big, big lesson that day. Never, never let anyone tell you you can't do something and you're not good enough. All right? You're always going to have your doubters. Always. But don't let them deter you. Okay? Had I quit believing in it that day and quit working hard, I wouldn't have reached my dream of playing professional soccer. It's funny how one coach can think you're not good enough and another one can think you're the best player in the state. All right? The key is knowing yourself you are good enough and having the confidence to believe in yourself that you can do it. Okay? Because when you do reach your dream, every ounce of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears is going to be worth it. All right? People used to laugh at me. They'd laugh at me when I said, I want to play college soccer. I want to play pro soccer. Trust me, those people don't laugh anymore. Okay? Some of the more exciting moments in my career was my, when my college, Lynn University, won the national championship in 2003 and we went undefeated. That was so cool to be a part of that team and lift a big old trophy in the locker room afterwards. We're spraying sparkling apple juice all over each other. It was a great feeling. Okay? All right? I signed pro. I signed pro with the Chicago Fire in 2005. Driving into the big city was unbelievable. You should have seen how tall these buildings are. Any of y'all been to Chicago? Nice. All right? The city is huge. It was incredible. At, the, at Chicago, I had the chance to play against a lot of really good MLS players and a lot of foreign players. I got to play against a club called AC Milan in Club America. Alright, we won the U.S. Open Cup in 2006, and uh, one day the Chicago Fire had a doubleheader with Real Madrid, and back then, David Beckham was playing for Real Madrid. Who knows who David Beckham is? Nice. Alright. For those of you that do not know who David Beckham is, he's one of the most popular soccer players in the world, and personally, that was someone I've grown up looking up to. So I got the chance to meet him after the doubleheader, which was really cool. My hand was shaking like this when I said hello. One of the other cool things about being a professional soccer player is signing autographs. Back when I was y'all's age, during recess or when we had a break time in class, I used to practice signing my autograph in my notebook. All right, it came in handy when I was a pro finally. This one time, this, this young girl came up to me, and she's like, Mr. Jared, can I have your autograph? And, yeah, sure, no problem. So I signed her soccer ball, and as she's walking away, I see her go like this. Yes! And I just thought that was so cool that someone was so excited to get my autograph and Extremely humbling. All right? So, you guys ready for me to do some juggling tricks? Okay? And I'm going to do my best not to fall off the stage here. So, I'll be looking down just to make sure everyone's not sleeping out there. If you see me do something cool, maybe do like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, all right?
Yeah. Y'all enjoy that? Yeah. All right, so that, that's it for the tricks. Before I finish up and we draw some awesome raffle prizes, I want to say I am very much looking forward to being a sponsor of the 2010 Chifuncta Middle School Walkathon. Al the Gator and I had a blast last year at the event. All y'all coming up and saying hi and getting autographs was really cool. So if you see us out there tomorrow, be sure to come over and say hello. All right, just like last year, listen, just like last year, we have these really cool Believe in It bracelets, all right? We have these really cool Believe in It bracelets, and they're, uh, they're two punches on your punch card, I believe, and all the proceeds are going back to TMS, okay? So come get a Believe in It bracelet. Uh, we personally think the Believe in It bracelet is incredibly cool, uh, because when you wear it, when you wear it, all right, if you ever have a moment of self-doubt, like maybe you're not going to make a good grade on your test, or you're not going to do well in your game or your music recital, okay, you look down at your bracelet, you say, believe it in your mind, don't say it out loud because you might scare people, okay? And then you're right back in the game. you got to have confidence. So listen, shh, we're almost done, shh. All right, also at the Walkathon is one of my really awesome local sponsors, Raising Canes, how many of y'all like Raising Canes? <laughs> After you walk really hard and you raise a ton of money for your school and you're starving, be sure to go get you some canes at the event, okay? So listen, listen, this is the finale here to wrap it up. So my dream, my it growing up was to be a professional soccer player. All right, and I got to do that for four years until I had a hip injury, okay, and I had to retire. I was, hey, I was living my dream, living my dream. Now that I don't play professionally, okay, I'm living a new dream, and that's to help teach y'all that if you believe in it, okay, you can reach your dreams. So I challenge you, I challenge you that whatever your dream is, your it, okay, whether they're big or small, to make them happen, okay? Remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Thank you.